Hi everybody. I'm here with Nico, the two-year-old Sphinx kitten, and I have some Zenny glasses to show you. <laughs> and you're going to laugh at how many pairs I have. <laughs> and I don't get paid to try any of these. Okay, so these are my most comfortable but least cute pair that I'm wearing now. So we wanted to start off ugly so that you could see how cute some of these glasses are. Now, I didn't write down any of the part numbers. Sorry about that. But if you have to know the part number, I'll answer your comment. So you can comment which ones do you want me to send you the parts number for. But um, there's a ton out, out there and you really have to make it match your face not my face because you might like my frame and then you might find out that my nose is like the most narrow nose ever 16 millimeter and most people have a bigger one obviously because Zenny has so few glasses that are narrow in the nose bridge sometimes I even get children's frames just to try them out so let's start with the most important ones the tents okay so these are amber First of all, let's get you a clear color so you can see what clear looks like in this light. So these are clear, and they're just pale blue see-through glasses that they probably don't have this frame anymore. But I wanted to get lightweight plastic glasses, but the bridge is way too big. And so I put this, these little nose pads in there. But you know, it just, even, though the, even if the nose pads were cute, they just don't feel right. So I hardly ever wear these. Um, okay, so then these, that was the clear, these are the amber, fashion tint. Um, really? These seem so dark. Here's, here's another amber fashion tint coming up here. These are amber fashion tint. Mm -hmm. So, um, what I really wanted was some small round, but they don't have small round. They only have giant round, which I got in amber, and that may be cute for some people, but I didn't want anything. I wanted the John Lennon look, you know, and these are just really big. Okay, so I'm not a teenager, so whatever. Um, these are amber, and they're round. See how thick they are, even though these are really light prescription, but when you get this big, they get real thick. Okay, and they're super thin in the middle, super thin, like they feel like almost like paper, but just better not sit on these. These are amber, I showed you these, I just had these on. So anyway, those were really big, so then I got these little ones, okay? Actually, I got these before the big ones. And because these seemed too small, um, I went and got the big, big ones. They didn't really, they did have one in between size, and that's the one I'm going to get. Um, speaking of amber, my in-between shape, if you get rimless frames, you can get any shape lens, and um, that's the one I forgot to put here. Nico helped me find it. See, I made a little glasses case for my purse. One for every distance, see? It's just that foam, and I use staples to make a little eyeglasses case and also serves as a divider in my purse. Isn't that fantastic? I should sell these and get rich, shouldn't I? Okay, so here's the, these are not amber. These are the old amber gradient tint from about maybe seriously three years ago. But see the shape? They're sort of cat eye, sort of cat eye. Well, let's put them on. So I thought about getting this in the amber. You know, just like the solid amber to wear all the time. I'm just having fun here with you. We're going over all my glasses. So these are the little ones that are too small. And you know, the bridge on these is really weird. These are with the cheap $19 gold frames. And uh, the problem is that the nose is kind of straight, but my nose kind of comes out like a scarecrow, you know, like the scarecrow nose is sort of point, sort of triangular. Right? But you can't bend these little things out. The, the, I use tweezers and everything. They just won't bend. I'm afraid I'm going to break the metal. And even if I did bend them, then they'd be too wide, you know? And you can't, there's no way, there's no room to make it go in and then out. So if I explain myself right, you'll know what I mean. So see the, how small these are? I thought I would get 
this shape in amber. So maybe in six months I'll show you those. But um, yeah, so old amber gradient. I think the new amber gradient is a little bit less gray, less brown, and more orange. You know, because you know if this is the amber color. I'll hold it up against my skin so you can see some background color. See? Okay, well, anyway, um, back to my amber tint. Okay. So before I started getting all these amber tinted glasses, yes, I am a Harry Potter fan, of course, um, I had gotten some rose tinted glasses. And I'll show you the rose tinted glasses. So these are rose frames the cheap aviator frames, middle size, rose frames with rose tint. And when I wear these, I feel like it makes me look like I'm stoned because I have pink eyes, you know? And if these were going to work for someone, I would say get uh, like a geometrical shape that's really going to show up that's smaller. I don't know. You know, like a small... I don't know, hexagonal or something. I don't even think they make those, but yeah. So, and then I thought, well, I don't like metal because of the antenna effect, because I'm a geek and I don't want to have an antenna against my head. So, I got plastic with pink, which even looks worse. Um, it doesn't look as much as my eyes are infected as those other ones did, but it just looks odd. You just don't see pink frames with a plastic rim, you know? It's just like the mind has too much cognitive dissonance when it sees this. So I couldn't pull it off. Maybe Lady Gaga could. So if Lady Gaga sees this video and she wears these, then I'll be able to wear them because then people will be used to it, you know? But that for me, they can't quite figure it out. So um, perception is everything. And then the very first pink glasses I've tried, I'm really embarrassed to show you these, but... I saw this model wearing them in it. It was an ad for a TV series, and she was wearing a white trench coat and these glasses and blonde hair, and she had on a trench, uh, like a hat that made her look like a spy with guns, you know, and she's walking down the city streets, you know, and it made you really think she was really cool, right? <laughs> so I thought, I'm getting those glasses. I'm going to look cool like her. <laughs> but guess what? <laughs> no, they don't work. And for some reason, they seem a lot darker pink than these. Just saying, you know? Even though they're, they're all the same 1.57 index of refraction, they're both pink, two different orders. Ladies and gentlemen, hold it here. Do a, do a controlled study. You see how different they are? And it's not the black frame that, that's making you think that. You know, it's just really darker. Yeah, it's just really darker. That's just so weird. So, you know, when you get pink, you don't know how dark you're going to get. Just saying. Just saying. Maybe that particular frame made the lenses be bigger and thicker on the edges, and then they had to make it darker. I don't know. So, back to my... Uh, okay, remember a minute ago I was wearing these ambers? See? Well, these are the old medium ambers. They used to have light, medium, and dark amber, and these are the old medium ambers. And wow, they are orange, aren't they? So, um, now I'm going to show you some, one more tint. That's the early light blue tint. When I say early, it means before they came out with fashion tints, so it, over a year ago. So this, these were actually ordered maybe eight years ago. This was one of, this might have been my first Zinni's pair. And I saw Meg Ryan in French Kiss. She wore these blue glasses. So I wanted to get something like her so I could be cool like Meg Ryan. And um, then they kind of went out of style for the longest time. And then people started wearing the blue for Erlen syndrome. A lot of people, the blue makes them feel better. It makes them feel more comforted. But it doesn't work that way for me. So I wear them occasionally if I want to pretend like I'm wearing blue eyeshadow because I can't wear eye makeup because I'm very, very sensitive and everything makes me, uh, you know, my eyes itch, so I can't wear makeup. You may have noticed that. Um, so I can wear lipstick. <laughs> anyway, blue glasses hide my eyes a little tiny bit. That's why I'm into the tints, because I like to hide my eyes a little bit. Otherwise, they're a bit much. 
I'm a frog in my past life. I'm not sure why I'm showing you these. I've done videos on a lot of these older glasses before. These are just clear. Um, these are the blue blockers. And I don't feel good when I'm wearing blue blockers. Just saying. Maybe it's just that slight yellow. I'm super sensitive. Let's see. This was my very first pair of Zinnies that I loved. They used to be a bit more turquoise. And then they faded to like mustard yellow, so I painted them with acrylics. And that's now that's faded. They're a bit scratched up. They're bifocals. And they don't sell them anymore. Even though they were the most highly rated glasses ever on Zenny. You know, Zenny, can you please come back with these? Who cares that they fade in six months? They're still cute. We'll just keep buying more, you know? We don't mind if they fade. I think that's why they don't have any turquoise glasses. I did find one other frame. Well, actually, these are the same color as the ones I just showed you, and I think they still have these. They're sort of a rubbery texture, a real matte texture rubber, and um, these have also faded. So, um, let's see, but not, not as much as these. These are faded plus paint. These are just faded, but I just don't think the frame does me justice, so I never wear these. So, anyway. If you buy the beautiful turquoise colors, they're going to fade. And I'm going to show you one more that I'm doing an experiment with it. Um, it's, it's a turquoise frame. Really, really turquoise. Like, awesome turquoise. For some reason, this frame just doesn't look good on me, but the color is awesome. It, it needs to sit higher. It just sits too low on me, and my cheeks hit it. Maybe I could put nose pads in it. But anyway, this I kind of think this is pretty close to what these were. Uh, maybe maybe one shade greener or something, but um, I'm storing these in a dark case. Let's see this, the darkest case for Zinni that I have. This one, I'm going to be storing them in this, so that maybe if I just wear them for special occasions when I'm wearing turquoise, or when I feel like I need a splash of turquoise. But so far, storing them in here, they seem as bright as the day I got them. So, yeah. Turquoise needs to be stored in a safe place. Um, this, I keep saying this was my first pair of Zannies, but this was also one of my first pairs. And um, everybody always told me I looked good in these. Now, that was back in the, um, you know, like 2005 era. <laughs> and, you know, my face has changed and stuff, as we all change with time. But, um, I don't know, I'm just saving them for if I ever have to be on Oprah or something. Not because I like them, but because people tell me I look good in them. Maybe I've changed. You know, like when people tell you you look good in something and they, they hardly ever say anything, That's that means a lot. That means that they, something about it is pleasing for your facial structure. Um, do I want to show you all these failures? This fake wooden frame was a failure. Because it just looks... Hmm, I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. And this frame was a failure because it's mean looking. Okay. And this frame was a failure because it was the most ugly pink tortoise shell. So I painted it pink <laughs> and it just doesn't work for me. And it's not comfortable. But one thing that does work for this is um, the nighttime blue blocker, 100% blue blocker, this fits it perfectly, just coincidentally. So I usually keep these together as my, when I travel to a hotel and you can't get the room dark, it's good to have a way to block out all the blue lights so that you can make all the melatonin you need for good sleep. All right, this was a Doctor Who eyeglasses experiment, and again, it was a failure. So now that I've gotten a lot of the failures out of the way, I'm just going to check on my cat to make sure that my jibber jabbering voice is making sure he's very, very sweet. Okay. okay, let's go back to our sunglasses. All right, so I'm just going to quickly show you a few pairs of sunglasses. I know this is repeating a previous video that I did 
on the shades, but um, I just want to be complete and just kind of go through all of these. So these were for blocking the fluorescence when I go shopping, but I never wear these. I feel like they're just not quite right. Then I got these, and I wear these pretty much every day when I go out. Um, what these are is aqua blue mirrored tint on top of gradient gray. And they're fairly pleasing to look out of. I prefer amber to gray, but gray is good because it still gives you that full spectrum color. So these are my go-to. And you can see they're a little bit not as dark at the bottom. I hope you can see. Then I got the same tint as these, but bigger. And see, these are uh, the amber with mirrored pink. No, it's mirrored rose gold finish. And then these are the rose gold aviator frames with rose gold mirrored tint over solid amber. So that's the dark amber tint, and this is what they look like with the rose gold tint. And I wear these, you know, when I'm in the mood for that amber sunglasses. If I'm going to be out driving among the green fields, these are so beautiful because they make the greens pop. Now, as an artist, that matters to me. I'm going to put them on, let's see, how would I do this? Like this, so you can see what the amber looks like. Although I see there's a little bit of mirror. You see I have them reverse. Um, I thought maybe you could see what the amber would look like if you just got amber uh, solid. And what I really like to do is get amber gradient with this color. See what that's going to look like. In fact, I have it. I do. Where did I put those? Hold on. Let me go get them. I'm back. And I'll try on two pairs of amber gradient with mirrored finish. Okay. Um, these are the amber gradients with sky blue mirrored finish compared to the gray gradient with sky blue finish. So there's amber gradient, sky blue finish. And you know, there is a different size and shape of the lens, so that might matter in terms of the densities, but you know, the color densities. And then gray, I don't know if you can see the difference. When I watch the video, I'll, I'll watch it along with you and we can see if it's showing up on the camera. This one seems to be more of a lighter color at the bottom. Don't you agree? <laughs> don't you agree? <laughs> Okay, and then the other side you can see how one's gray and one's amber. Gray, amber, ta -da. Okay. Mm, they really seem to look different. Wow. Oh, well. This is amber gradient with silver mirrored finish. Because I wanted to look cool, because I saw Jane Fonda wearing some glasses like this on a movie set. And these are gradient, so I thought it, I thought they'd be lighter. But, you know, they're not. I wanted people to be able to see my eyes a little bit, but it's okay. I'll wear these. They're just really lightweight sunglasses that you can sort of read, you know, better. I read a map or whatever, because <laughs> it's less dark at the bottom. And you can, like... Wear them way up high like that and look like a nerd so that you can read with no glasses at all. And your eyes look like they're on the top of your head. Or you can wear them down low like that and look really like cool, like or that you're really old and you're, you use them for readers. <laughs> Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful day. Oops, I forgot to show you this. <laughs> P.S. These were ugly pink glasses that were cat eyes that I put painted uh, turquoise and I, they still need one more coat and I did a whole video just on that or maybe not a video but a photo series and here's what they look like <gasps> oh my god what do you think what do you think the, th the problem is that when I wear them at the right height they touch my eyeballs seriously my eyeballs touch the glass and they get wet <laughs> They're so close, so I need to put nose pads on them, I guess, to hold them farther away from my face. Anyway, I think they're crooked, too. But the thing is, when you turn your head to the right, I guess I have to paint the arm turquoise, too. Don't you think? Because that probably looks weird. Like, her 
Glasses just don't, something's not right. She's from another planet, something's not right. Yeah, so anyway, that's trying to salvage some glasses that were failures. Um, these are like my go-tos. Progressives, 30 millimeters tall. That's the smallest size you can get with progressives. And just plastic, and I painted these. They were dark navy, I think. I painted them with that turquoise nail polish because otherwise they look mean. And um, then these are gorgeous colored teal glasses. My favorite color of all time, you know, in, in infinite time, space, time infinity. But I just don't really like the shape. But I sure like that color. That is so pretty. I just love that color. Oh well. I wish they were like rounder. You know what? I'm done. And I will leave you with my Harry Potter glasses. Have a wonderful day. Um, remember to breathe deeply. And when you exhale, just be thankful for being alive. Thank you, Nico. You're the best kitty in the whole world. He's a good boy. He was nuzzling into my laundry, my clean laundry. So I sacrificed some towels and let him sleep in them. And I'll have to wash them again. Because I don't want to get Nico's cuties. <laughs> Not really. Not really, kitty. Do you want to smile for the camera? No, I'm busy washing myself. Goodness, he must have gotten a bug bite. Just say hello to everybody. Oh, I see you. Did you get a bug bite? She's going to bite me. Most of my tents lined up sort of in a semi-intelligent order. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan my camera a little bit so that you can see the difference between the indigo blue and this the sky blue. Sorry. Indigo blue and the sky blue. Let's put them together. Yeah, quite difficult to see, but sky. And this, by the way, is the gradient. It's on gray gradient. And so this is gradient amber with mirrored silver. Notice that amber gives the silver tint sort of a golden color, but that is silver. Almost looks yeah, kind of golden color because of the amber underneath. All right, and then this is rose gold tint, solid amber. Okay. Yeah. That's rose gold tint compared to the silver tint. And rose gold tint is on amber, you know, sunglasses. And this is amber gradient, so there's two differences there. And this is just the same as this amber sunglasses with rose gold tint. This one seems a little bit more copper. This one seems a little bit more gold for whatever reason. This is the clip-on, very bulky clip-on, that goes on this pair right here. These are rose tinted, fashion tint. So here's the rose tinted fashion tint in a plastic frame that's too big for my nose, so I put nose pads in it. And then this is the rose gold middle sized aviator frame with rose tint. And when you put this on, it looks a bit more blush looking. And then these are the orange fashion tint. And this is probably similar to what the light blue fashion tint is, but this is the very old light blue from like 10 years ago. I don't know, it might be the new fashion tint is not quite as aqua. It's a little bit more in the gray zone, sadly. I really love this color. This is like aqua. 
Okay, this is the amber fashion tint, and so is this. You can see it looks vastly different depending on your frame. So this is the amber bohemian look in the $19.99 frame that's not right for my face, unfortunately. But I really like it, I like the way that the wire loops around like that. I don't know. This looks kind of like ancient, you know. Okay, in a good way. And then this is very sleek and modern. Now these are very old. This is the old amber gradient from 10 years ago. <laughs> well, maybe five years ago. They don't have this frame anymore, probably. Yeah, so that's, that's the colored ones. And... And now I'm going to switch to this tray, which is a bunch of <laughs> bluish colored frames. What I wanted to share here was that this pair, which they don't make this frame anymore, used to be this color when it was new, but these have actually already started to fade. These were a little bit more turquoisey when I got them. And, and they popped more. Now they're starting to do this yellowish green color. So a few months in, you'll see this happen if you don't store it properly. Now, these are made of the same kind of matte, lightweight rubber, kind of a matte tint. Actually, these aren't as matte as these. These almost feel like rubber, and I remember these did too. But now these are coated with some worn off nail polish which helped the color remain a little bit, so that when I wear them, I still get compliments, even though they look horrible up close. I actually don't even hardly wear these anymore, but I really love these. Um, too bad they're all chipped, yeah. But, um, I'm mean, like, I couldn't wear these now, obviously. You know that. But I would definitely, you know, want to fix that up. Anyway, um, too bad they don't have cat eyes in this color. Zinni's so awesome though. And then this, I really love the color, although the frame's not my favorite shape for my face, but I store these in one of the dark teal Zinni glasses cases to try to block out as much light as possible, hoping the color will last. Um, but for these prices, you know, I guess it's worth it if you want to have a bright blue for the season, you know, and then at the end of summer it'll start to fade, you know. Okay, so these are the three, three of the same frame. And one of them is got the, uh, the early blue blocker that they sold. That's If you compare it to clear, you can see that it's slightly more yellow. So this is that first blue blocker. They've changed companies, but I know that I never feel good wearing these. It's just like that color makes me dizzy or something. And then this is the rose tint, which I didn't, I didn't like it with those frames. So these are more of a comfort frame that I wear when I'm alone because this is a very comfortable frame for me. And then this, I thought I'd get the amber gradient with the baby blue, I mean the aqua blue mirrored tint. And um, they're okay, but I don't, again, I don't wear these. They just, they aren't as hip as I hoped they would be. And I always end up wearing this one instead, which is just a little more mainstream. And it's gradient gray with with the baby, with the uh, aqua blue. I'm not sure if they call it sky blue, aqua blue, or baby blue, but the lighter blue, as opposed to the indigo, which is this color. And it has more of a purplish and turquoise combination, whereas this one is more of a green and a turquoise, you know. So, um, not to confuse you though, but I did want to just show you how different a pair of glasses looks depending on the color. Um, this was a failure because of the color. I didn't like it, so I painted it turquoise with a, some nail polish, and actually it looked pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint the sides and wear them for when I wanna look spunky, you know, like Rita Skeeter. <laughs> Those are my Rita Skeeter glasses. All right, um, this is what I wanted to cover, so thank you guys. I'm barefoot on this beautiful Vancouver summer day. I hope you're doing well. Stay safe and 
Let's all give thanks for being alive and having Sandy to give us cheap classes. Um, no, they don't pay me for this. I just do it because I like to share the tents with my friends so that we can save time trying to figure out which colors to get for ourselves. So I hope something in this video has helped you. And if you have any specific questions, ask me. Okay? Bye. Talk to you later. I wanted to point out the gray fashion tent. And if you want to compare it to the clear right here, you can see that it's really just a light gray. Hardly anything at all. But it is sort of a boring gray. So this, I believe, is the color that the models wear, the, the generic models that when they, you ask it to try on and you haven't put in your own face, the generic models wear sort of gray tinted glasses so that you can sort of see them if they're rimless. I don't really care for that color and I regret go having gotten it. Oh well. This is an addendum to my Zenny videos. Um, so I just got uh, three more pairs of glasses. Now I felt like these light amber tints were too big and then the small Zenny amber tints, the little ones, were too close together. So the first of my three new pairs is a smaller lens that's also light amber tint, light amber fashion tint. And that is this pair of glasses. And then I wanted to get also a set of large and small rose tinted glasses because they are just so pleasant to look out of. It may be a little bit more pleasant than the amber. And I feel like maybe they protect me a little bit more from the blue light in my computer screen. I'm not sure about that. But it's definitely not worse. It's definitely equal to or better in terms of my personal comfort level. So these are the big ones. Now these are a considerable amount smaller than the round ones. So these are new. And then lastly, and my favorites, are the sort of bohemian looking, bohemian looking glasses. So even though if I'm a little old lady wearing bohemian style glasses, at least they're pink. So everything looks rosy. So which is better, these or these? For making videos. Or the big pink ones. I'm kind of thinking these for making videos. And then these for if I'm going to be Professor Trelawney for a role play ASMR. Let the universe expand in your mind. And these are just the eternal optimist glasses, don't you think? And I'm optimistic because they cover up my eye bags a little bit. Okay, well, I've done my demo. Peace, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and gratitude is the most helpful emotion.